Welcome to Florida. <laughs> oh, they just wrestling. So currently I am working on this adorable Highlands cow and I still have quite a bit of work on the details that I need to do and I need to do a little bit more on the background. I love alcohol inks and what happened was <laughs> they disperse when you when when you drop them in wet paint or in water and I didn't wait long enough uh, before going over it with my with my brush and it ended up just leaving these little dots which I mean are not too bad I mean it can be a look but <laughs> I want to go over and fix fix that. Um, not sure if I just want to paint or if I want to do some more alcohol ink. Yeah, he's coming along. I think he's super super cute. This is my inspo pick or my source pick. So, yeah. So I thought I would show you how I or what I did to convert. A good portion of my dressing room into an art studio because I don't know this might be able to help somebody <laughs> because I, I was a dining room artist for you know a while and I realized this is just not gonna work for me and the only other room because my library is just too small it's also our office so I decided to take a chunk out of my dressing room what I did first off, because, you know, leaning over the dining room table is just horrible on my back and my neck. Um, so remember this brick wallpaper from the kitchen? I put it up on this one section of wall and brought it down onto the floor so that it will protect the walls and protect the floor from all the drippies. Yeah, so now I can just paint freely. I was always so tight painting at the dining room table because I didn't want to mess up our dining room table. And then I have a mat. It's a mess, but I have this mat um, for when I'm standing. It's one of those memory foam mats so that it, it helps my back a lot. And then I also have like a bar stool with a special cushion on it. So when I need to sit, I just pull it up and it's adjustable. So wherever I have my painting, I can do that. I just have this teak wood shelving unit. I don't know where it came from. I can't remember, but I'm sure you can get one at like Ikea or I don't know, probably even like Walmart. And then I have this little Ikea stool that I keep my grab rags on so I can just reach for them very quickly when I need them. I ordered this off of Amazon, this little trolley, um, but they also have them at Ikea as well. And that's where I keep my primary paints and everything on there. And then like my varnishing stuff and my textured, my textured, um, <laughs> I can't, I can't remember what it's called, texture paste and stuff like that. Uh, the Mod Podge is for when I'm doing collage work on my art, but yeah, all the things that I need are here, like my glazing liquid for my acrylics and different varnishes, my gesso, things of that nature are all right there in any little tools. I love this because I can put all my tools, they're right here beside me for easy reach. And like here, I've got my paintbrushes and stuff for easy reach. And then this is that old desk. I don't know if y'all remember when I was house sitting for my kiddo, she gave me this desk. I didn't bother painting it because I knew right away it was just going to get all messy with paint. But this is where I keep like my graphite pencils, my colored pencils, um, sharpeners, and this is where all my little water bins are. This is an old cookie jar. I need to empty it. Uh, that my mom gave me. I remember growing up with this. <laughs> and um, she gave that to me a while back. 
and I use it as my little garbage. And at the end of the day, I can just take this out. I can go dump it in the kitchen and it's, it's great. And then I just have this clear, this clear resin um, paint palette. I would like to get a glass one. Um, so that's on the agenda. The hair dryer is there, not because I blow out my hair here, <laughs> but it helps to dry layers in between. You just have to be careful that you don't get it too close, you know, and that you're gentle with the paints. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I still have my Amazon boxes that I've got to throw out. Um, I kind of keep all of my canvases stacked up over here and I'm getting a little low so I'm gonna have to order more and then it'll come out a little farther and then under the desk are some past works that I did on paper and source material and collage material and all that kind of stuff it's working for me right now but I don't have wall space to keep everything up so to hang everything up so I will be ending up stacking my artwork somewhere in the house because now they're up on all the walls throughout the house including in here that's all the room i have in here so look at all of these mushrooms <laughs> So cute. Well, happy Saturday morning. It's kind of early. I still have my deep wake up voice. <laughs> I want to start on another painting today. This week was kind of a low energy week. I only completed two paintings. I did get the Highland Cow completed. and he's all varnished that's why he looks a little shiny i varnished him in gloss and i think he turned out really beautifully and then i finished an anniversary present for my parents um, they have no idea that i've actually even been painting animals um my mom just saw a few of my earlier stuff with the uh the portraiture of the girls and everything like that but they have no idea that I've been doing animals and they love deer and my mother's favorite color in her home is blue so I thought I would do a blue background and I think he really pops on this you know when you do a cool background it causes the warm subject to really pop forward and I just love that I just love that. I think his face is so sweet. So she's coming by Thursday. I only told her that I painted her something for their anniversary and she got all excited. She obviously has no idea what it is. So that'll be fun. I love opening new canvases. A brand new day. I really need to clean my palette, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I am, I can probably just keep using it. I'm kind of conflicted about cleaning it off because I have seen where some painters will just keep letting it build and build and build, and then they peel off the acrylic paint. And then they have like these sh little sheets and pieces of all this beautiful mixed paint and they use it in some of their abstract pieces or they use it for um, texture. So I'm thinking I may just keep building on this and then try that. That might be kind of cool. A little bit of experimentation. I've been kind of tight on my painting lately. Haven't been as loose as I used to be. I don't quite know 
why I haven't figured that out yet. I know like with my parents painting, I don't want to say they don't appreciate abstract, um, but that's not their thing, you know? And so like the background and everything, I just got real tight on that. And then I kind of got tight on the Highland cow. I'm finding that I have been inching back into realism, finding myself getting a little bit caught in that realism aspect. And like I used to do a long time ago. And it's fine. There's a place for that for me. Um, but I really enjoy being more free in my expression, even with the animals. I did it with the horse. It was, it wasn't so tight. Um, but then when I worked on the wolf, I noticed, even though the back is extremely abstract, I really, really got into the realism with the wolf. I did it with the owl and then I really did it with the, um, with the Highland cow. And then I found myself doing that yesterday when I was finishing up my parents deer. So I'd like to do another wolf. I had put up a question on the community tab. Should I do the wolf or should I do the lion? So far the wolf has been winning out. I'm kind of myself already leaning towards the wolf. So I think I'm going to do another wolf and I'm going to really try to stay loose, not get bogged down with the minutia of everything. And I think that too is why I only completed two paintings this week where I normally average four to five paintings in a week. We shall see. Good morning. How are you? You gonna eat your food? You gonna eat your foods? These are my Caran d'Ache Neo colors. They're water soluble. They're kind of like crayon. And I love them for mark making. Mark making is just a process where you loosen up. I love it because a lot of times when I'm not too heavy handed on the paint, like when I, like what I just said happened with some of the marks will show through and I think that's super cool. I love that. So I am hoping that some of these marks will still show through when I finish. It, 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 it's no rhyme or reason. Also, I use my mark making kind of like a gridding system so it helps me make sure that my proportions are right because there's nothing more frustrating than spending hours and hours trying to get your proportions on your drawing correct and when I'm going bigger like on these 16 by 20s and my source material is just like you know an 8 by 10 it really helps me to keep my proportions right a lot of artists use a grid system. Usually they might use like little squares and such. I learned that a lot of people actually use their mark making. And so I thought, oh, that's a great idea. So I started doing that and it really has helped cut down my drawing time, which I appreciate very much. That's what helps me be able to produce more art. I can get a lot more accomplished. Wow. I'm able to a lot of times get a painting finished in one day and like anywhere from six to eight. I don't like to go over 10 hours per painting. I will if I need to. Um, I did on the Highland Cow and I think I was about at eight hours on the deer. Again, I was constricting myself and I'm hoping that through just being a little more free with this one, that I'll be able to maybe only spend five or six hours on it. We'll see. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. I'm not gonna be getting this 
fella completed today because it's Saturday. It'll be on next week's video. Um, today, in a little bit, actually, our oldest daughter will be FaceTiming us because she's having a little surprise party for our granddaughter. And so we're going to be FaceTiming so that we can be a part of it as well. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. Next week, I'll show you the process on my little Wolfman. Tuesday, we're going, Ivy and I are gonna go and visit Ivy. <sighs> Tuesday, Ivy and I are gonna go visit Isa. So we're really looking forward to that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. We have gotten together a few times since the last time that you've seen us together, but none of us recorded anything. I think what we're gonna do this Tuesday, you okay there, Zig? So I think what we're gonna do I think we're actually gonna talk about Rebecca. I know y'all probably thought that I forgot. I did not forget. So, yeah. But you know what? We might not. <laughs> I don't know. So I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a part and giving me a little bit of your time today. If you have been enjoying my content and you haven't yet subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to boop the bell. Also, comments and likes go a long way to helping this channel. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye.